I tell Seth every day. Wait, what do I say every day? I can't believe we're pregnant. <laughs> every day, like every five day. times a day. I feel like I've tried to get prepared about everything and it's like, keeps adding up. We have a list and we're like, okay, once this is done, we're ready. And then we'll add something else. <laughs> and then that list has a list. <laughs> Hi, I'm Nabella Noor. And I'm Seth Martin. And we are soon to be parents of a baby girl coming this spring. We had a gender reveal. We posted a teaser online of, in black and white, of the confetti popping. Everyone, based on Seth's reaction, assumed that it must have been a boy because it, he was so happy. And the most gratifying thing was when we finally revealed the color and everyone saw the pink. I was like, that's my husband. <laughs> I wish someone would have told me that shopping for the little clothes would have brought me so much joy. I'm not a shopper, but looking at <laughs> these not. little clothes, I'm just like, these are adorable. Wait, what did you buy her yesterday? I, I bought her little, little sunglasses to go with like all her little outfits and stuff. I wish someone would have told me how much infertility and the journey towards pregnancy can impact your understanding of yourself um, and your self-esteem and it did. You know, I share a lot online. I share my pockets of peace and the moments of goodness in each day, but what's so important to me and the responsibility that I feel having a platform online is also sharing the tough, sharing the emotional. And so I, I felt when I was experiencing infertility that it was my responsibility to share um, with my audience because there might be somebody going through the same thing. I was like, please God, give me a baby. And obviously, <laughs> that didn't happen. And there were, there were millions of women, millions of people experiencing the same struggles. And it encouraged me, it allowed me to form a community, it allowed me to find support. No matter how you have a baby, I think understanding that your ability to or inability to um, does not determine your worth. I wish someone would have told me how unpredictable my emotions would be throughout the pregnancy. And that didn't really kick in until recent weeks, right? Would you say? Yeah. But let me tell you, I cried one day because something was closed on DoorDash. And I cried. You remember that? Mm -hmm. That was that was tough. You know, or we didn't have corn in the house one day, and I cried. It was a lot. I wish someone would have told me how like helpless I feel throughout this pregnancy. Like certain days, I'm just like, wow. Yeah. Like, I wish I could just take all this and just give you a couple days off because you <laughs> deserve it. That's so sweet. I wish someone would have told me how much I would love my mom more than I already do. Like I respect her more, I understand her more, I see her sacrifices in a different light. Everything's different now and how I see and receive my mom's love has been the most gratifying experience walking in to motherhood. I wish someone would have told me the toughest part about pregnancy is it just changes your outlook on things. Like you're just looking at things and you're I'm more like emotional. Don't make me cry. <laughs> I look at people at like a different light. I'm just like, wow, like. You're someone's I, I look, kid. Yeah. I think being pregnant has made me love my body in a way that is so different than before because as an adult, I really strengthened my self-love journey and my understanding of my body. But being pregnant, the gratitude that I have to my body has overwhelmed me in ways. And some days I just look at my body and every stretch mark and every new stretch mark that's popping up. I'm so grateful because it's a sign that it's, it's holding life and it's bringing something magical into this world. I also think being plus sized and pregnant, I didn't see, you know, prior to being pregnant, I didn't see a lot of um, inspiration, fashion inspo for plus sized pregnant mamas. But I feel like I like my outfits more pregnant mm -hmm. than ever before, right? I'm having way more fun. Yeah. I really just want plus size mamas to know that like you can rock looks, you can look amazing, you can rock your belly, you can celebrate your belly now more than ever so that they can look back and be like, I did that. I wish someone would have told me 
how much unsolicited advice you receive about marriage and parenthood. Since announcing our pregnancy, the amount of just wait until this happens, just wait until that, I'm like, wait a second, I am on a cloud. Can I live on this cloud for a little bit? I think when people give us advice about the state of our home, everything's white, everything's beige, everything's neutral, and everything's very tidy. And I think the people that almost say, just wait until the baby comes and wrecks it all, I'm thinking, I have been praying for this baby for six plus years. You can turn it upside down, please. Wreck it all. And there's also washable markers.